Hi, morning to my ISO builder here. Thank God it's Tuesday, right? No more Pac-Man in its serves problems. I want to be creative. The look I'm currently having is, is, is great. I would like to keep these icons as default. Now we've made videos already about the alias personal and there is a new folder we've created just for us on our Linux distribution. We have a personal folder. What was that all about? It was about getting your things quickly and easy on your future system. So if you are building, you can put anything in the personal and you can, for example, put the .config in there with any configuration for anything, right? PSP, WM, my three open box, it's all in the .config. And what we do then after an installation of a clean uh, Arco Linux thing, right? We type the word personal. At that particular moment in time, what's happening? Everything is, is changed again because I've copy pasted over recursively, meaning all the directories and everything in there with force from the personal to the home directory. So my icons are gone. At this point in time, they have been overwritten with something else. So that's the deal. That was the idea to have a dot config in here. That's gonna work and be great. I have another idea this morning. The thing that's in here is actually great, it's beautiful. And you can read code, right? You can see that we're setting the background to the koi fishies. I call it the fishies, right? In the videos, these are the fishies. Fine, what else? In here, it says that I'm gonna go for Arc Darkest and Surfing Papyrus Casablanca. So a few videos back, I've created a new icon theme. Surfing Papyrus Casablanca. So I wanted to try it out. That wallpaper was great with it. But now these days I am on this kind of look. And I want to be it, 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 I want to easily switch between one and the other. No problem. So you want to have another look in a few seconds. Yes. Even less than a few seconds. Become master of your files, of your personal folder open folder as root. That's your personal folder. Control H dot config, right? Let's do the following. Let's create a new folder with just a number one and put everything in there. But because I want to keep the Casablanca thing and I want to have another one. Actually, you can better copy paste. Control C, Control V. And this is option two. This is my option two, meaning this is this look. I want to have this look if I want. Okay. Now I need to get the data in. First of all, I've just made the mistake to overwrite everything. Means if you overwrite everything, everything is overwritten. So in here, it will say xfc4 xfc4 conf and then no yes correct let's have a look the files the x settings xml so this thing will say surf and papyrus casablanca i just over it uh, i just over um wrote over it <laughs> okay so i forgot to set it back Simple as that. Click, click. Arc Darkest is standard. I don't think that changed, but it's loading all the icons. And as you know, I am the icon developer. So I've got all the icons there, all of them, meaning all the sadly variants, like over hundred icons and the surfing icons, all the variants. So set right up here. I told him that's the one I need. Okay, close. Then the wallpaper. The wallpaper has got to be the fishies. Okay, the fishies, the fishies, desktop settings. Let's have a look. Can I get to the fishies this way? I uh, don't think so. So this is now going to wall, fall, folder wall haven. 
So I need to go to the user, 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 share backgrounds. And I got my fishies. I do like to say the word fishies. Koi fishies, here we are. Open. And this one. Close. So this is the look I want to have after a copy paste. These icons, if you want to really sure, because I'm not sure myself, you go check if the Arc Darkest team is selected. Arc Dark, sorry. Now, the, we are, in the meantime, we've added some extra um, themes Arc, Arc Darker, Arc Darkest, but for me, Arc Darker, Darkest. Hmm. Let's go for our darkest, like so. Arc dark, like so. Arc darkest, okay, arc darkest, I've chosen. So close. So now I have two files I need to overwrite. I've done my settings. If you don't know where those settings are, melt is the application, melt. If you change things, your configuration, if you scale things, it's always in a backup, right? So this is melt, compare two files with each other and see what the differences are. And it will maybe take a while, certainly if you put on same, I don't care about what's same, I wanna see what's new, what's changed, modified, and then you get a long list, you go through it. The thing is, we do know what we want, right? It's here. So I need to go to the dot .config, right? X, 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 F, C, 4, inside this guy, inside that guy, and we need X settings, XML, Control C, poof, replace, and we need XFC4 desktop for my fishies, XFC4 desktop, it's gonna be this one, Control C, Control V, replace, in the meantime I can clean up a little bit, that's a copy, I made a backup before changing anything. Et voila. I've got myself an XFC4 desktop setting. So this look is saved away in the folder too. If I copy paste two to my home directory, everything is fine. But now I'm gonna teach you something else. There is something called the bash RC. And of course, set this HRC as well, but there is something called the Bash RC personal. So in the end of the Bash RC, you see I have lots of other things in here, but this one is red. And in the end of our Bash RC, we say, if there is a Bash RC personal, well, that's something I did. I've added a Bash RC personal, then add the Bash RC personal. But up there somewhere else, can be the, no, no, sorry, that's the standard guy, right? That's the standard guy. It's the private one. That's that's something I've done extra, bash RC private. Things you don't wanna share online, you should be sure, codes, logins, passwords, things like that. Put it in the bash RC private. When you type scale, the bash RC will be overwritten, not the personal or anything else. It's just the files in etc scale. These things will, be over, will override your home directory. And here is the Bash RC. So put all your aliases in the Bash RC personal. Okay, now first off, control find, where's this personal thing? Here is the personal thing. Control C, agreed. Go to the Bash RC personal, right mouse click, create document, empty file, name it, dot, bash rc personal if you don't have it there are articles online about it on articles.com control v moving your personal files and folder from personal to personal to there me i'm gonna say something else i'm gonna make my own thing personal one copy paste everything over from computer file personal okay 
personal one equals copy paste rf personal one everything that's in there copy paste it over and then you got the idea right i say okay cool so i'm gonna make personal two and then i'm gonna copy everything from the two folder now of course you can make it uh, give it names or anything like that um, so that you know what's inside but for me this one and two is, is clear one is the surfer and the other one is is our uh, look like this and that's it safe good enough for me so i have created a new alias personal one it's going to copy paste everything from the one folder to my home directory and the other one is going to copy paste everything from the two folder to my home directory done guys done and you get my idea of course that means you can make like 20 30 40 50 100 i don't know how many things you can create and to be sure that you still have it next time around you are gonna put it in your settings of your not that personal build settings personal plasma menu top smallest space personal except the art track i've been playing around right i can put this also here create a folder maybe and then put these two guys in there Boom. put it online everybody can use it and more importantly you can reuse it just git clone your own github back and you've got it and easily switched again and everything these two guys can go on any Arclinux that you built you're building an Arclinux ISO let's say the XS LTS that's the new guy right arch ISO you would go look for the personal folder put it in there it will be built with your configuration on it you create your, you get your own bash RC, your personal things here, personal one, personal two. Boom. After installation, it's gonna be having all your configurations, not just a wallpaper and not just an icon, but anything that's residing in a dot config or the dot local, you just put in the folders, whatever you need. There is also a dot local or a .xmonad for example, the configuration for xmonad. Get it in there, your thing. That's why it's called personal. I hope I get some minds down uh, out there. Oh my God, this can be creative. I can make my own look. I install Arclinux, everything's still the same. Then I type personal, boof, or personal one, personal two. And everything is the way I want it. Yes. All right. Cheers.